Now, many of us are now more are becoming more conscious about recycling, but a manufacturer from Wearside has taken the principle to extremes. When he chose to build a new factory, he decided that wood from the old building could be used in his products, and that wasn't too difficult because he makes coffins. Here's Helen Ford. The sight of so many coffins can be an uncomfortable reminder of our own mortality. It's rather ironic that much of the wood being used to make them has actually been given a new lease of life, after previously serving a completely different purpose. In fact, some coffins being made here in Pensha could actually contain pieces of the firm's old factory. This is the building before it was demolished a few weeks ago to make way for a modern replacement. These are timbers from that building, waiting to be turned into wood chippings at a firm in Wall's End. Metal objects are removed as part of the process, so no danger of an unwanted nail in the coffin. Next, the chippings are made into chipboard, which is then sent back to the coffin maker. Although you only need to use a coffin once in a lifetime, it seems that people are becoming more conscious of their impact on the environment. In the last 10 years, uh, the choice has opened up. Now there's cardboard coffins, there's uh, wicker basket coffins, um, and there's a traditional coffin. And I think people should have a choice, and uh, I'm not worried by that choice. But our traditional coffin, we've got to make sure that environmental credentials are as good as anything else available. But why go to the trouble of recycling wood from your own factory? Well, the alternatives were to burn it or send it to landfill. And I felt recycling it would illustrate what we're trying to do with our coffins in uh, providing uh, the best environmental credentials possible. And having a wooden building, it was an ideal opportunity. And there may be more factory recycling to come. Next year, the firm hopes to demolish and replace the remaining parts of its building. Helen Ford, Northeast Tonight, Pensher.